Hello everyone and welcome to Cardboard Adventures where every card tells a story. Today I'll be opening several packs of 1989 Don Ross Baseball. I'm looking for the Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie card. I do not plan on opening the whole box live on camera. I'll probably just open several packs. Other good cards that you could pull from this box would be Craig Biggio as well. And I'm drawing a blank on the rest of the rookie cards. I know that there's probably a couple others. And of course, you always got the very fun puzzle piece. I actually never built one of these puzzles myself. Some great cards already. These cards certainly have a nice look to them with uh, the right colors on the borders. They are quite condition sensitive. There's a lot of whitening already on the corners and the edges. Even if the cards are coming out of the pack fresh. Griffey, of course, like many things in the hobby, has shown an incredible spike in price. Uh, BJ Surhoff, I might be... I don't know if that's his rookie or not. It's probably close. My knowledge of the baseball market is not as strong as hockey. However, I do like to follow the baseball market. Uh, that's cool. Greg Jeffries, he was a big prospect. Dwight Gooden. Some really good players in these packs. Several years ago, I think I paid $10 for this box. It wasn't very much. I haven't looked, but I, I know at one point these were probably selling for about $70 or $80 Canadian. Probably like everything in the hobby these days, it's probably gone up in price. And surprisingly, out of all 89 product, my favorite... Oh, nice, the Don Mattingly. My... Oh, Wade Boggs, oh, sweet. My favorite Griffey rookie card is probably the Bowman one. Uh, Cal Ripken, another great player. I just really like those oversized cards. And they look great in PSA slabs. I definitely drag my feet on getting one of those. But I'm sure the market will come back down. And to be honest, for 80s for my own PC, I'm definitely happy to have even a PSA 8. I don't need a 9 or a 10. That keeps it quite affordable. And the 8s do present quite well. Roger Clemens. Billy Ripken with uh, no... Profanity on the knob, probably. That's another great card. Uh, the 89 Fleer FF. I'll not use profanity here, but... Um, the Mark of Bat knob card. So I have done a few uh, boxes of Fleer. 89 Fleer in the past. And unfortunately, did not pull one of the Air cards. I just got a black box one. And uh, the Marlboro... Randy Johnson, I didn't get that one either, but I did find a um, partial, partially visible version of that one and got it graded. I got a 9 on it. And I did pull one Griffey from my 89 Fleer. Eric Hansen. Oh, Mitch Wild Thing Williams. Bo Jackson. Man, that guy was a fantastic athlete. And I'm certainly surprised that these packs didn't feature gum, which is probably for the better because the gum just left an awful mess. I've also seen, uh, especially 8990 OPG Hockey, the... Um, boxes being destroyed because they were stored in a place that it was too hot and the gum ended up melting. It doesn't take much for that gum to melt. 
and destroyed everything in the pack. So we're cruising along here. Still no Griffey, but hopefully our luck will change. Alright, I plan to open one more pack here live on camera and then I'll enjoy opening the rest of the box off camera. I just think there's something certain um, special about opening a box card, especially older ones. Wax prices have certainly gone up and availability is definitely another challenge. Most of the time you just have to order it off eBay. So when I do open a box, which doesn't happen very often, I do like to enjoy it and take my time with it. I always feel disappointed when the opening is over. So most likely I'll just enjoy opening these packs over time. So I appreciate you tuning in. If you don't already participate on Instagram, please uh, feel free to sign up. There's lots of great people in the community, in the card world, and you can find me at Cardboard Adventures on Instagram. Uh, feel free to send a message if you have any questions about grading or just um, collecting in general. I'm more than happy to help, and I hope you all have an excellent day.